switch to like Platinum. No, Ragna or Ragna. Uh, or S. One of the two, because they're both pretty basic characters. Yeah, just very fundamentals based. Yeah. Blaze Blue. Yes, Callan. I play Blaze Blue. I. I do not have any water bottles. There's glass. There's glasses of water on the left side of the sink. All right. Oh so. God, Callum, you play nine. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> jumping into this, uh, Utah getting the first hit here with a uh, nice grab punish. Yeah, Skyner going in though, doesn't quite go for the fall. It goes for a reset. I mean, when the reset works. When the reset works, it's worth it. But when it doesn't work, it's uh. Ouch. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, ooh, nice counter coming out from Utah. Predicting that Sky Nerd wasn't going to charge that homing attack. Has him on the wall. Going for the setup. Ooh, gets him. Ooh, goes for the grab, but Sky Nerd just jumping over it. No, actually goes for the tick grab. I I, I can agree with that. Get, yeah. Make it so he can't use his Rotom. Mm-hmm. Um, some I'm liking that seeing Skyner do, and he did it against me more too, is using Screech. Yeah. Um, to extend that debuff, um, get a, I believe he gets a little uh, meter off it. So. Yeah. Ooh, but nice Utah attack. getting meter first, full burst here. Um, throw out the Rotom. Yeah, that's not gonna connect. Nope, that's not not gonna connect. And Rotom does punish it. Yeah, I mean he does go in the air one. He uses that move, so Rotom will. Proc off well, that. I actually almost expected Rotom to uh, pop uh, during the invincibility frames. Oh, yeah. I'm uh, not quite going to kill that scale, but... No. Yeah. Rotom, very heavy on the scaling. Oof. Very close round one coming from these two players. Ooh, gets the and grab. And well, that that's... should yeah. do it. There we go. Yep. Skyner taking round one. Going in... Still sticking with Rotom. Yeah, uh, I, I agree. Yeah, I agree. Skyner going with Mew. Yeah, Mew again. Just wants his buff so that when he gets in, he can do as much damage as possible. Oh, yeah. Um, I know some players initially thought Mew was going to be just absolutely broken. Um, it's still a very strong yeah, support. He's, but, but he's not the, the best. No, having to rely on RNG uh, does make it a little better. Yeah. Now, that was a moment where the anti-airing was good. Yes. Because he had that upper body invincibility to get through the attack. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Skyner getting, Skyner getting a decent chunk yep. off of that. Um, winning the phase. Doing the shift. Ooh. Utah calling out the jump there. Alright, Utah. In a pretty good position for nice. himself. Skyner only yeah. has 24 health left. And, and there we slide go. will do it. And that electric slide. Now, I'm, I'm liking kind of how Utah has shifted up a little bit. Um, one major thing that I'm liking seeing him do today was that... Um, oh, unfortunately, he expected a dive bomb afterwards, but... Three <laughs> arrows. Yeah, that, that's a, that is a combo. Yes, but one thing I'm liking that Utah's doing now, uh, after oh, we chewed him out for it, uh, watching him play against Sharkham Knight, uh, is he's not just anti-airing just to anti-air any anymore. He's trying to actually be think about what he's doing with his anti-airs. Utah finally landing a hit this round. Skyner's just been running all over in this round. Yep. Throwing out Rotom, forcing yeah. Skyner to stay down, but Skyner just yeah, dashing that, in and grabbing. That was a pretty obvious grab, in yeah. my opinion. Oh, another grab. And he, I mean, yeah. he takes the game, so... Skyner taking game one over Utah. Skyner just proving why well, he is number one on that PR. Yep. We'll see. We'll see what Utah has to say about it, though. I mean, Utah. Utah's not even on the PR. Queen. Queen got what we all thought Utah was gonna get. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. Because it was the January through March PR, yeah. which is the winter season. Yeah, we were just kind of late at getting it yeah. out. <laughs> well, I actually was waiting a lot on uh, Fumu to give me the information, so. Uh, yeah. But, there back to the game. Uh, Utah. Ooh, ooh beautiful. Nice. I think that was a sucker punch coming out there. Yeah, that was a sucker punch coming out. So, the fully charged counter breaking through that. Yeah, 
Nice putting nice Utah in a very good position here. But Skyner's Skyner going in. He keeps going for that reset. He yeah, I I'm not sure why he keeps going for the hard reset. Um Utah keeps kind of just lifting himself up in the air and it's avoiding that every every time. Yeah. So Skyner finally going for the full combo though. Props is burst, but a nice homing attack will just negate that entirely. Yeah. Unfortunate. Um burn most burn pretty much all of his bursts there, but it gets, uh, gets quite a bit back. Yeah. Um whatever he's using for his uh um support. Yeah, first cheer. First cheer, yeah. Yeah, but puts himself in the corner actually against yep. Utah, but gets out just with that oh. safe button. Utah releasing his charge move there, so Skyner using Mew. Um, only gets attack up on it, so. Yeah. Um, but Ooh, that will grab. hurt. That that is gonna wow. hurt. Wow. That attack up is. And now the mix up. Definitely painful. Yeah, definitely. Utah having to prop his burst. Skyner still sitting on yep. his and sitting at a really comfortable life total right now. Oh, oh Utah. Man. I think he expected a dash in from Skyner again. Yeah, gets the um, wall splat. Yep. And that, that'll do it. Yep. Skynerd taking round two in game right. two. Now, uh, Skynerd's going in here with full burst while his Utah has almost none. Uh, Utah not even opting oh. to try to get that first pick up there. <laughs> oh, man. Utah in the corner. Oh, Ooh, with the counter the pierce. Very good call wall out splat. by Skynerd there. I don't know if Utah expected him to release it earlier or if he expected kind of be like Lucario's charge moves that don't burn a counter. <laughs> yeah. Skynerd using the burst. Uh, I'm pretty surprised there. It's um, not a really great time to use it, no. but he gets the round anyway. I think he was using it kind of just as... In, to hold him in place. Yeah, hold him in place. Mix-up option. Yeah. Um, Because it basically was that you either shield this or you die yeah. moment. And then, it, and then it put him into the reset of the the, um, the rock paper scissors moment at that yeah at that point so I'd say overall it seemed weird but it actually yeah it, it worked out yeah it worked out in Skynet's favor quite a bit so yeah right, um, Utah thinking a little bit yeah He's thinking Rotom might not be doing doing great here yeah going All for right. the Mew Celebi and he's probably gonna be utilizing Mew himself very likely. Don't see a whole lot of people using Celebi. Not really. It, it's a bit awkward to use. I mean, it's a slow, so yeah. it takes a while to charge up. So you need to be running support in yeah. order to use it. But I mean, properly. A, a free phase shift is yeah, but very it, it still it still takes a minute to come out, and they can still pressure you while that's right. happening. And you you can be grabbed out of it, etc. Yeah. So it's all right. It's all not right. the worst, but it's not the best. Utah trying to take control of this. Uh, set here by just putting on all sorts of pressure. Yeah, just throwing projectile after projectile at Skynerd. Yep. Skynerd, though, getting the call out on it. Yeah, will that carry it in the wall? Yes, it will. Skynerd. Ooh. Unfortunately, Utah was just a little too high up, so the dive grab was not able to actually connect. Yeah, using the screech. Yep. Keeping that uh, no support up. Yeah. Skynerd using his burst. Will that connect? I think that'll connect. That will connect. Yep. And Skynerd's taking the first round of game three. Yeah. Uh, Skynerd sitting on match point here. Yeah. I do believe. Yeah. yeah there we go. Just one, one to double check that I didn't call that wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I called it wrong in my match against Storm. I'm like, good game. He's like, wait, wait, wait. You might still be alive. And I was alive <laughs> with 15 HP. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Skyner going for the suck punch. Nice air counter. All right, I like the mix up yeah. there by Utah. Yeah. Uh, mixing up what side he was on. Ooh. And then forcing Skyner to have to pick. Yeah, what it's going to be. Ooh. Ooh, I, Pops it early. Yeah. Uh, punishing those vulnerable frames on that counter because Utah was going for the counter to, um, to be able to punish any charge attack. So... Ooh, oh, that's going to connect. connect. Utah going to be taking round two. I, that was very good on Utah. He basically conditioned Skynerd at that moment to 
uh, try to to expect some kind of aerial option. Yeah. And, and then Skyner at that then teleported down. I think he was going for Sucker Punch there, actually. Yeah, I, I believe with, so. With the teleport. Because I think that's his only teleport option off out of air. Uh, I believe so. He's going to be going for the three. Yep. There we go. I like how he has to step back one step in order to land it. Oh, yeah. Because if you don't step back one step, it just barely misses. Yep. Oh, oh that was the air counter. Read. That's oh. going to be the round. And just like that, Skyner yeah. takes winner's finals 3-0 over Utah. Oh, man. Beautiful read on that air counter. Uh, Utah definitely utilizing that air counter. Where what did, are you doing? Where, where, did, where did Bracket go?